Hi, this is Cole from Prince Lock. Okay, now we're going to attempt to assemble the Y carriage with the Y axes and a couple of other uh, bits for the Lutrak 3D printer without belts build. Okay, uh, send the last video to move the oval parts. Of, of the mini wheels on your Y uh, carriage in, cl in close. Actually, you're supposed to push them out, so we'll do that. Okay. Yep, that one. Okay. And now, we'll try and move into a more appropriate place. It's the uh, the bolt. Okay. Make sure this is the right way up, which is with the bearing end. It's got a, a nib at the bottom, which is obviously supposed to be facing the bottom. So that's around the right way. Okay. So now take your Y carriage and. Stick the circular sides onto the V slot, and we're going to just push it over like so. Okay, all cool. And your Y carriage is um, prongs have got to be on this side of the nut. Okay. Okay. Now take a set of mold grips. What we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to clamp this side to the V slot and the print so it pulls the mini wheel in on the circular side into the V slot. Like so. And then that frees you to do push the oval side on the opposite side of the one you've clamped into the V slot as well. Take as it goes. Once that's clamped, take an adjustable spanner and actually tighten around the nut. We're pushing the spanner gently so it's touching the V slot itself. Once that's tight, you can just rest it there. That frees up your hands. If you haven't got too much fat fingers. Then you should be able to quite easily push the oval side mini wheel into the V slot nice and tight. And then we tighten it because the spanner is pushing against the V slot, will hold the nut and stop it from spinning so you can actually tighten it. Release this side. Now when you push it, both wheels should spin. Okay, now do the second same for the other side. Climb this side to your V-slot, pushing that mini wheel into the V-slot on that side. Take your adjustable spanner. And hold the nut, resting the spanner head onto the V slot as you go, tighten and then tighten, uh, push the mini wheel on this side into your V slot. Careful not to clamp it so low. Take your adjustment spanner, push, clamp this side, 
Same as that. As you did this side, get your adjustable spanner again on like the other side. Push the mini wheel into the V-slot. Take the spanner so the head is touching the V-slot and tighten onto the nut off the bottom of these mini wheels. Push the mini wheel in as tight as you can. We need a lot of tension and then tighten. Obviously it would be a lot easier if you just asked a friend to help you with this. But if you are on your own, this is a way to another way you can do it. All you try and do is get it so it's nice and snug without any movement your wire carriage or as little movement as possible with your wire carriage. And obviously having the mini wheels sitting nice and snug. In your V-slug. Don't worry if you don't get it spot on straight away. Just do the process until you get it to where you feel happy. But the whole idea is so we don't get too much motion with the wire carriage. I'm not happy with this end, so I'm untying it all. Following the process like this. Okay. I'm fairly happy with that. We've got no movement in the, the Y carriage. Except for obviously back and forth. And the wheels seem to be all running. In the V slot. So okay. Assume it's done. Obviously. After all that, I would advise, and I'm going to put a link at the, at the, underneath this video, to do this with two people. Because um, obviously, using mole grips, adjustable spanners, just to get this piece on, with obviously two sets of hands, you'd have it done in half the time, and probably more accurate. Um, Okay, once you've done that part, we are going to roll. The lead screw by hand. lead bolt should I say by hand all the way down to the bearing side and move 
move your wire carriage down there too. Flip it over upside down. Okay. Before you take the whole carriage all the way, wire carriage all the way down to the bearing side, stick an M5 bolt, 25 millimeters in length, bolt through one side and the other. Get yourself two M5 locking nuts. Now, okay, so tighten the nuts on. So tighten the lead screw to your wire carriage. Tight, but not too tight. Obviously, doing both sides. Okay. So tight, firmly tight. Run the uh, the Y exit, the Y carriage up and down. Make sure there's no snags, and it's fairly even tension throughout. Okay, then once you've got that part done, you need to have printed the Y uh, axis end slot. And quite simply, you get yourself an M5 10mm uh, bolt and one of your T-nuts. Place that in the bottom of your V-slot motor end. Roughly line it up with this part of your print. Put your nut in and tighten it to the V-slot itself. Okay, nice and firm, roughly in line. Obviously, this can be adjusted later on to get your end stop correct. Basically, your end stop is going to touch one of your mini wheels, mini wheel, mini V wheels in your V slot. So, that's your wire axes with carriage assembled with the end stop. Um, the next part, the next video is going to be the wire frame for the main body. Okay, to hold everything together. Uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks, guys.